All right, everybody, welcome back to Sea of Stars. This is episode two. We're picking up. If you missed episode one, be sure to check this out or check that out, whatever. Um, this should be fun. I don't know. So if you didn't see the first episode, <laughs> I have to do all the narration in this game because it doesn't have voice acting. <laughs> and that has been a hoot. I've been recovering from, from a pretty nasty cold. My throat's been messed up. Last time went pretty well, so I'll try I'll try again today. We'll see how it goes. Hey there, were you looking for anything in particular? <laughs> like literally any NPC gets that voice. Ooh. Squire sword. Yes. Wait, did I do it? Wait. Yes. Sell. Ooh, that's convenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell. Tomato, lettuce. Wait, how much money do I have? Oh, I have like no money whatsoever. Well, I had enough to um, to get the new weapons, right? That's cool. Just barely. Wait, can I fish here? Oh, there was a tutorial for fishing. Did I do this in the demo? I can't remember. Jeez. Oh my god. You tap or hold? I think you hold. Hold on, hold on. I don't remember how to do this. Survival. Fishing. Press A at the edge of the dock. Um, press A to cast. Casting is always at full power while airborne steer the bobber. Press A to kick it in the water. The bobber touches water too close to a fish. It's a hook. Hold A while it's in the zone. Do not reel outside the zone, otherwise it'll break. Okay. Gotcha. Let me try that again. Stay in the zone. Stay in the zone. Stay in the zone. Oh, I'm an expert fisher. I knew it. Hold on. Can you make it land? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember if I did this in the demo. I want to catch one of the big ones. Yeah, come on, bitch. Come on, you bitch. Okay, come on. I want to catch a big one. Big one. Uh, that definitely didn't land in the... Big one. Big one. Big one. Oh, that was easy. What the hell is that? Is there anything else in here that's, like, interesting? Besides trout and mana wars? Doesn't look like it. Uh, give me here, bitch. Come on. Okay, I think I'll stop here. I mean, I am intrigued if you fish a whole bunch, will you get something else? I don't know. I didn't see anything different based on the shadows, but they might be sneaky. I'll come back there later, I guess. Once I get the airship. Once I get the epoch. I'll be back. Mountain trail. Solstice shrine. Mountain trail to me looks like the way I'm supposed to go. Let me go here and see what this is. I probably can't go here. It's locked. That's what I figured. Oh, I gotta remember how to do my, my Valir voice. It's basically my normal voice. Just a little bit modified. It's locked. Oh, Zale, it's locked. Oh, no. <laughs> hey. Oh, this is it. This is where the beginning of the game was. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? It's gonna skip forward to the fire. Yep. Very nice, very nice. I really hope we'll get a chance to return to Moon Cradle after this. 
What if we're sent out into the world right away? Yeah, I don't know. I just wish Garl was here. We could certainly use some celestial willow jam to go with this awful bread. Ha ha ha, the dream. Oh? Huh? Celestial willow jam? I've got some right here, guys. I haven't picked up some mushrooms. You won't believe this soup I'll make. Look at his face. Zale's face is amazing. Oh my god. Ho <laughs> ho, and I found some herbs in the Forbidden Cavern. They'll do just right. Oh, I was doing the goofy voice for Garl. Gar Garl? <laughs> what? You didn't really think I was gonna let you go on an adventure <laughs> without me? I can't do it. I can't commit. I can't do it. Hey, Garl. What's up? Ha ha ha! So good to see you two again. You look so strong now. Hey, why didn't you show up for our departure? Are you kidding? There was absolutely no announcement. As soon as I heard everyone gather, I went to our hideout to pack my stuff, but you left so fast. Guys, I'm so pumped for this journey. I know all about survival now. Fishing, gathering, cooking. What's wrong? You can't actually come with us. We just wanted to say goodbye. We're on duty now, and it's pretty dangerous. You can't mean that. We've always talked about how we all leave together after your training. If I dial back the voice a little bit, I can. I think I can actually sustain it. Plus, I sent all those years practicing in our little cave. I'm ready. And I can talk right next to the mic. That helps with my voice strain. Look, I may not have any special powers like you do, but I'm built strong, and I've been preparing. This here is my shield. I'll be a defensive fighter. No, a warrior cook. Oh yeah? Sure am, and I've been reading a lot too. See, most of the monsters you're going to face won't even be fleshmancer minions, which means anyone can fight them. Are you sure about that? Valir's voice is the one that does the most in my throat. Totally, you haven't seen any yet, have you? No, but... Well, I'll know when to step aside, don't worry. Plus, you can't really travel the world with just a few sandwiches. What were you thinking? That's, uh, yeah. See, you need me. You just do your solstice warrior duties and I'll keep your bellies full. Garl. Deal? Okay, deal. Oh, I'm so happy. No way, this is awesome. <laughs> Alright, I'll start the kettle. I have so much catching up to do. <sighs> well, okay then, Garl is back. And so apparently after we meet this Elder Mist, we'll be able to use magic without using magic. That's all we've been told, I guess finding our own way is the final step of training. Our first assignment is to get to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. Wow, that's a lot. Your powers sound so cool though, can't wait to see them in action. So how about you, Garl? Oh, it was pretty uneventful to be honest. All I did was train and learn the skills I thought would come in handy. I think I think it I think this is morphing into the town NPC accent. <laughs> Whatever, man. Every single day, I was hoping to see you come out. I'm sure glad no one has told me it would take 10 years. Is that how long it took? Damn. Yeah, we missed you too. It's not fair that we were together and you had to do this all on your own. Well, we're together now, so it doesn't matter anymore. And I can't wait to explore the world. I want to taste everything. Hey, this soup is unreal, by the way. Right? Uh-huh. So much food did you pack? Just enough for a few meals. It's better to travel light, and there's ingredients everywhere if you know to look. And who knows what we'll find. It's all part of the adventure. Why don't you try now, Valir? See that bush there? It's full of juicy berries. All you have to do is pick them. I actually feel more throat strained today than I did last time. I'm probably still sore from the first video, honestly. Oh, nice. Perfect, now we'll make some jam with the berries you picked. Just interact with the campfire and get ready to cook. Ooh. 
I am a master chef. See? You're a natural. We can eat that jam later when we need to heal up. Thanks for the tips, Garl. That's going to come in handy for sure. Don't mention it. Hey, I'm ready for some sleep. Same here. And nothing but the stars above us. I'm loving this life already. Garl, I'm really glad you're here. Haha, <laughs> I was just a- Wait, why did I do- I did the wrong voice for Valir. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I'm just gonna let you guys read for a while. Good morning! Y'all ready to go? I'm excited to see what the Elder Mist looks like. Should be straight up. Let's keep hiking. Man, oh man, my throat is killing me. Which way should I go? Sneak up on him. No! Aw, oh, I didn't get the jump. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh, I blocked with everybody, that's right. Uh. I like how he hits him with the shield, that's pretty cool. So what do y'all think of this game so far? Y'all enjoying it? Either watching it or playing it yourself? What was that item? A Bacchus. A Bacchus. Displays non-boss HP in combat. Sick. I like this music. Maybe my voice will warm up more. As we go along, it started off pretty rough. But it might get better. Especially as I rock out. So I've been here before, right? This is where this is where I was before. Is there any reason to go back here though? Cause last time I was here it was um the beginning of the game. I don't see anything though, so I guess I won't worry about it. I really like doing the voices and stuff. I just wish my my voice was back to normal. But I guess we'll just have to be patient. Holy shit. Oh, that sucked. Damn, I didn't kill either of them. Damn. Of course they both hit Valir. Bastards. He still has 24 HP? Jesus. Holy shit. Holy shit. Ah. Ah, it's I don't have the timing on that. Yes! Valir's back. Thank goodness. Damn. Yo, heal her up, dog. Oh, 41. That's legit. Still has 23 HP? Shit. Hmm. I can cancel this. That 
That was by far the toughest fight yet. Man. I really like this song. It's a really good one. Having the little break for my my voice is, is nice. <laughs> I'll be ready once uh, the dialogue comes back. Ah, I tried to get away. Fucker. I still don't know if you can get a timed hit on that or not. I've never been successful. Dude just bitch slapped me. That was hella rude. Brrr. Getting close to a level up. I do love how they have shortcuts everywhere. That's nice. Campfire. Holy shit, I can make a ton of stuff. So I guess depending on how good the item is, it takes a while to cook. Gotta catch some Z's, dude. Need that HP. Drop a quick save. Y'all know. Gotta drop a save, gotta drop a like. And a subscribe. All those three things, very important. Hey there, were you looking for anything in particular? Hello, random guy. In the freaking middle of the cave, just chilling. Just be vibing to this track, dude, all day long. Oh, I got him, yes. Got him, got him, got him. You can't really cancel the other guy. But I can hit all three of these guys with the uh, sunball. Is there any way to get like a boosted attack? A boosted damage? Oh, I got it! I heard it. I think I got the timing for the, like, the first time. Oh, I blocked thunder. Wow. That was surprising. Why does Garl hit the hardest? He's whacking him with a shield. We've got swords and shit. That should probably hurt more, right? What is this? Oh. 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 Yeah, get him. Banana. Hmm. Well. I can cancel one of them. Oh, I don't know if I blocked it properly last time. Last time that move happened, I was like, I blocked it with everybody. But I realize now I may not have blocked it with anybody. That is funny.
Yeah, beat that ass. Level up. Level up. Level up. Physical defense, eight hit points. Eight hit points seems like a lot, doesn't it? Kinda does. Three physical defense is pretty good though. I'll do the hit points. Screw it, man. One mana, eight hit points, two physical, three magic defense. I'll do hit points on him too. Hit points all around. Let's go. Let's get fucking beefy and shit. Bum ba dum, bum 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 ba dum ba dum. Shiny pearl. What does that do? I don't know. The balance. God damn this music, dude. Mm. Mm. Huh? Whoa, hey, let me go down here. What the heck? Wow, tricky, tricky, man. They're hiding stuff down here. Gotta try to sneak up on this guy. Wham! Right in the ass. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, I didn't even see that coming. Oh, I didn't kill him, shit. Oh, too early. He had one HP, are you kidding me? That sucks. That sucks, dude. Oh, we got some buttholes. Got him. Three damage, are you kidding me? That's garbage. Ah, no shitty. That confused me because Valir dodged. Hmm. Garl's about to die. Oh, I think I can kill him. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Ow. I feel like I'm getting my ass kicked here. Wait, there's nothing here? A little suspicious. There is something up there. Maybe it's like a shortcut back down later. Oh, come on. There's got to be something down here. I don't see anything. I guess not. Oh, shit. Whoa. Ah! 
right in the ass. God damn, I hate these guys. Cancel that shit. Oh, two HP. Ooh, he didn't even get an attack off that time. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, there's the shortcut. What's in here? Wait, that seems like a thing. Like the main, like the main way or something. Which way is the the main way, and which way is the secret way? Okay, now I'm a little bit skeptical. Cause this feels like the main way. What is this? What could this be? Oh, that's it. <laughs> well, never mind. Dun 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 dun. I feel like a boss is coming up. Shit, I was just about to heal. No, 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 I'm not ready for a boss. Who? Two children of the solstice have come for their rite of passage, but I also sense one who does not belong. Is he brave or foolish? Who? Let's find out. Oh God, I'm not healed. Oh, it's the Elder Mist. Welcome, young. I feel like he's got to be like an old guy. Welcome, old. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my normal voice for this guy. Welcome, young adventurers, to the sacred pond. Nice to meet you, Elder Mist. My name is Gar. I'm having too much trouble keeping track of the voices anyways. My, what a pregarious one you are. Enthusiasm is certainly welcome in this place of meditation, but its rites are not meant for the common folk. Okay, okay. Children of the solstice, step forward. Okay. Hoo. Hoo hoo hoo. It seems you show great potential indeed. Similar to that one guy, the last... The teacher guy. Have you weaved your will into celestial fabrics? We have, Elder Mist. Then come closer and let them be imbued by the sacred pond's magic. Dip it in the lake. Who oh, a tremendous resonance. Wear them with purpose for they will augment your innate magic. You shall henceforth have light in the darkest places and protection against the minions of the flesh. I don't feel any different. Yeah, me neither. Whew. Rest assured, the ability to use magic without using magic has taken root in you indeed. What does that even mean? And how does it work? It arises from need. In the many battles that await you, victory will often demand the use of more offensive magic than one can sustain through spells alone. That is why attunement to live mana is paramount. Live mana? Whew. It allows your attacks to draw from the magic bestowed upon you at birth. And judging by the resonance you create, this power should even extend to your traveling companions. Ooh, me? You are ready. Live mana will start manifesting for you the next time you enter battle. Are you ready for your final test? Elder Mist, I'd like to go with them. Hope oh, Goofy's back. Who? The Elder Mist trials have never been undertaken to by anyone but aspiring Solstice warriors. But I want to go with them, please. Interesting. You are the first of the common folk to ever make such a request. He sure is a peculiar one. No doubt limited when it comes to combat, but the warmth of his heart, could he bring it back? Perhaps we should try to find out. I will allow it. All right, thanks, Elder Mist. Consider it a test of your ability to act as a companion of, 
to Solstice Warriors. Well, I won't fail. We are ready. Then close your eyes and take a deep breath. Hey, what are we doing here? Welcome to the Elder Mist Trials. To pass this final test, you must bring these big three relics together by completing their associated challenges. The monsters that will try to stop you are immune to physical attacks and the use of offensive spells is prohibited. What? How then? Whew, that is why you must use magic without using magic. Live mana can boost your battle actions with a portion of your magic attack. Embrace this power in your training. Will be complete. Woohoo, I have to try that. The trials await. Should you wish to return for a while, simply close your eyes and concentrate next to where you just appeared. Godspeed. Elder Mist Trials. That attack did nothing. A spell would probably do it, but we can't use them here. Guess that's the part where using magic without using magic comes in. But how? Hey, some little orbs appeared when I attacked. Maybe that's live mana? Could be, I feel a kind of pull towards them. Yeah, I feel it too, let me try something. Whoa! It worked, how does it feel? Like power, so if I attack it should do magic damage now? Huh. That was amazing. I want to try next. Regular attacks will now generate live mana. Press ZR and press A to absorb a charge and boost. Up to three boosting charges can be stacked, each adding a portion of your character's magic attack. In the case of regular attacks, the character's innate magic damage type, if they have one, is also added on top of their weapon's damage type. Whether you're dealing with an intricate lock pattern, need to make sure your next healing spell really count, or just want to deal more damage, remember to boost. Oh shit, okay. Well, they really made cooking realistic because it's slow as fuck. Okay. Um, I do need to rest. Hmm. Very nice. Very lovely. Very lovely indeed. Dum -da -da -dum. Shiny Pearl. Dum -dum. It's kind of chill in here, like not not a whole lot going on. Oh here we go. Get him! Oh, I missed him. Um, well, you just gotta attack whoever, right? We'll attack with Garl to get some stuff knocked out of that guy. Oh, God. Oh. Boost. Attack. This one. Boost. Kill him. Well, this is very interesting, that's for sure. Try it with the Zail. Cool. Damn, I got a long way to level up, dog. Over 1,000 experience points must be accumulated. Oh, 
Oh, the little phallic object has been revealed. It's a fallacy. Do I have to find more people? Nope. Easy peasy. One down, two to go. Da -na -na -na, da -na -na. Basic armor, man. Do I need basic armor? Oh, he does. Wait, he can't use that? He, he can't use shit. Whoa, that's really good. Wow. That was a big upgrade. Wham! Oh, that's huge! I get to start the fight with being boosted. Easy peasy. That one was hella short, dude. I already got the switch. Did I hit it again? Wait. Wait. The fuck? What just happened? Did I hit the switch twice? I hit the switch twice by mistake. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, I missed him. So close. Damn it. That shit hurts, dude. Even when you block it, that shit hurts a lot. Oh, I see. Now I have a ladder. Heal, probably. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Ah, it's hard to sneak up on these ones. Alright, I think we got this boost and shit down pat. So is boosting only gonna happen in certain areas? I'm assuming that's the case. It won't it won't all or will I always be boosting? Like everywhere moving forward. That's a good question. I have no idea. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Bum ba down. This room is certainly weird. To get this artifact piece, you'll need to answer three questions correctly. Let's see what you learned. Of these two actions, which one regenerates MP? That's casting a spell, are you kidding me? Come on, man. Come on, man. I think I would forget the famous Zenith Academy that I called Zenith the first time. Psh. Psh. Mm. 
Mushroom scramble. That sounds fucking delicious. One very important Solstice Warrior duty is to destroy dwellers who become vulnerable during which natural phenomenon? Psh. The eclipse, homie. What happens if you answer it wrong? You think I don't remember? I had to read all that shit out loud in a very em embarrassing voice. Probably rest first, because there's probably a big-ass boss coming up here. You know, they don't ask you if you're ready unless shit's about to hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? So I reckon shit is about to hit that fan real hard. I reckon a big fat boss fight is upon us. <laughs> the young adventurers have finished the preparations. Huh? I see you understand the power of live mana, but can you master it? We shall see. The use of spells is now allowed again. Holy shit. Face me, children of the solstice. Um, you can hit him or his sword. Um, I'm gonna boost and use Crescent Arc. I missed my timing. Damn, he just slapped the shit out of me. You can't hit his arm, only his sword. Hmm. Hmm. Sunball hits both. I'm gonna wait, actually. You know what? He has two more. You know what? You know what? I am going to absorb that. All of it, because I'm greedy and I'm going to use a sunball. Damn, that damage was nice. I guess I got my answer that the live mana is part of every fight moving forward. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be adding another dimension to this. Ow! God damn, I'm not blocking very good. Um... Okay. Damn it! I was so close to getting that timing. Missed it again. Is 
The Elder Mist Sword is feeling better. Okay, here comes his bullshit. Of course he needs moon shit to cancel that. Wait. Oh wait, I can I can do this. Hold on. Hold on, you need to attack. Do a regular attack with him. And then absorb. Wait, sword active counter. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, he's gonna fuck me up. Dude, that sucks. Hold on, do I have something that heals everybody? Yeah. There we go. Okay, and then boost with her. Triple boost, and then attack. Oh, it only did one. I thought it would have done more. He only healed. Okay, I mean, that. I'll take that. Could be a lot worse. I thought I was gonna do a bunch of moon. I thought the triple uh, mana absorb would may make me deal more moon damage to cancel his move, but it didn't work. Thinking about the best move here. Yes, got it. Fuck yeah. What happens if you boost with Garl? Kind of the same shit, but I, I think he doesn't have elemental damage. I might as well heal. Well, he's not doing anything. Maybe I should combo his ass. Um, yeah, maybe I'll combo him. Should I boost combo him? Nah. Uh, okay, fuck it. I don't know how that works. I missed my timing. Okay, here's the fucking... Okay, now I can cancel this with the... You know what? The sword is feeling better. So we're gonna attack the sword. Get more live mana. Attack the sword again. Get max live mana. Then boost, super boost. With the boomerang. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. He's stunned. Fuck him up. Oh, he's dead. Cool, that was a that was a fun fight. I like it. How formidable. Whew, a bright future awaits you indeed. Valir and Zale, I name you Solstice Warriors. I knew it, you're the best. Ha, huh, there it is. We did it. I have consulted with the mists of time during your trials. When you are ready to leave this place, find me back at the sacred pond and I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you'll be sent out into the world. Whew, don't take too long now.
Huh. Good fight. That was fun. I like it. That's what I'm talking about. Wait. I didn't properly in interpret what he told me. Should I set up camp to move on? I think that's what I need to do. Yeah. To progress the story, right? Or not. Can you... Can you do, like, set up camp anytime? Or is it only certain times? I think I need to go backwards to that locked door. That's what I think I need to do. Yeah, okay. I don't think I needed to set up camp. Badam, badam, bum ba da bum bum bum, badam, badam, Good morning, the time has come to begin your journey. Morning, but it's in the middle of the night. Ah oh, yes, I suppose your friend should address that. Address what? Bring us the dawn. We can do that. Whew. All it takes is for you to stand on a celestial rune. And then what? Something inside of you knows already. Right this way. Now concentrate and bring us the dawn. I can bring time and change time. That's cool. How did you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Ho, ho, ho. That part is always easier by simply going for it. Now in your travels, you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magical runes that react to the time of day. They were put into place by solstice warriors who came before you. Some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the Order such as yourselves, while others steal away evils that were too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Now, your journey can begin. Come and meet me beyond this chasm. How do we get across? By using your powers, of course. Meet me on the other side, and as a farewell gift, I will share with you what I could read in the mists of time. Try using this crystal to charge the smaller rune on the ground above and see what happens. Whoa. That's so cool. Holy shit, guys. This game is fucking great. This is definitely the best retro RPG that I've played in years, man. Years. This is fantastic. I gotta go backwards because there was a, a thing back here and I wonder if we can... I wonder if we can do something with that. Oh, I fucked up. Shit. Damn it. I'm screwed now. I can't cancel the move. Blocked it, though. Damn, is there a way to like know how to manipulate this? Like come here in the day, come here in the night? I mean, maybe I can't do that yet, but that's what he was talking about, right? Shit that's sealed away by my ancestors or whatever. Shit. 
I don't see a hint though for like how to do it. I hope I didn't miss anything. I kind of want to look that up. Maybe you guys let me know in the comments if I could have done that right now. I was wondering if a time of day would have opened it. Holy shit. Look at that big ass thing. It's like a giant goat, goat man. Are you ready to be sent out into the world? Damn it, I don't want to miss that thing. But I would just be guessing. Like, I wouldn't know. Let me just try one Google search. Ah, uh, nothing. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? No, that's not it. I don't know. I don't know if I can get in there. Hopefully I can come back. Hold on, one, one last look. Is this it? No, this isn't it. Damn it. Okay, you guys can let me know if I missed something. If I could have gone in there. Oh well. Let's go. Let us see you off then. But first, your prophecies. I will speak them to your minds directly, for they are yours and yours alone. Zale, step forward. In order to reach your full potential, you'll first need to stare at the night inside of you. Stare at the night inside of you. Hmm. Valir, approach. When the time comes, you'll be the one to create paths on water. Okay, cool. Garl. Will I get one too? Awesome. You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey. <laughs> That's it. Garl, this is not a conversation. Oh, my bad. Carry on. The mists are unclear in your case, but it appears your heart might be warm enough to soothe a long-tormented soul. Oh, okay. Garl did get a prophecy. You have learned everything I could teach you. I'm sending you to Sleeper Island, where you are fated to meet a crew bound for adventure. Make friends with them. And they shall help you reach Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. To activate this giant, give it the name Extol to be sent to Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Extol and speak this one's name, which is Extol. Cool. <laughs> well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. <laughs> well, apparently I can come right back, right? That dude just chucked me a hundred miles. What the what kind of transportation is that? Oh, the great archives. Oh, the weird, creepy guy from the beginning, right? Who peeks at you. And so it was that Valir and Zale were off to begin their journey with their best friend, the warrior Cook in tow. In their quest to get to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards. One by anger beset, the other of life bereft. Oh, he didn't peek at us that time. The first time he was like... He like peeked out from behind his, his chair. It was kind of funny. The other guy caught it. Wow. No way, that was awesome. The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. What a ride. Who knew the world was so big? So, what now? Find a boat, I suppose. To ground level, then. There's only one way we can go from here anyway. Okay, well, I suppose... Oh, wait, this is what we did in the demo. Oh, shit, this is the demo. Bro, this is where the demo started. 
Oh my goodness gracious, man. Party members recover one M MP when they time a block. Oh, that's sick. Really? That's sick. Oh, he can use an adventurer's vest? Are you serious? Damn, his, his defense was lacking. All this time, it could have been so much better. Um, 90 gold, that's a lot actually. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna stop this video for now, you guys. It sucks actually because I feel like my, my voice and throat are actually getting better the more I do this. So I think when I started, it was very kind of fucked up, but then it started getting warmed up. I need to do, like I literally need to do like vocal exercises and shit before I do these videos so that my voice is ready because it felt really rough in the beginning but it, it feels like way better now like way way better I need to save though actually you know what maybe I'll keep going for a little bit um there'll be a cut in the video you won't even notice I'll be right back all right here we go here we go. Here we go. You gotta use the power of the sun to cancel that fucking move. Yeah! It's nice that I can do sun and moon elemental attacks without the need to use magic. <sighs> I could play this game all day, you guys. It's a real problem. Damn, he has one HP. You kidding me? You kidding me? ba -da. So I wonder if you do all the same stuff as in the demo. I'm assuming you do, right? But we didn't have the live mana in the demo, I'm assuming. So I wonder if we'll fight that same boss from the demo. He was hard. Rainbow Cooch. Let's go. I do remember this. I'm assuming the Rainbow Cooch is a key item. Yeah. I think that's a shortcut back. Yeah. Get some of those potatoes. That felt quick. That area, for some reason I thought I remembered that being longer. Is that one of the creepy bird people? Must be, right? Man. Still thinking about that door that I left behind. You know I don't like that, man, but maybe I wasn't capable of opening it. I don't know. I don't know. Here's a save. I got a lot of stuff to do today. But goddamn, I love this game. God damn, I love this game. Shit. I tried to sneak up on him and that did not go well. Oh, come on, how can I be missing these freaking dubs? I'm flopping. Oh my god, the delay on that shit. Any damage on that was pretty good. Well, at least I didn't fuck up my timing that time. I got hella high defense. Okay, I'm ready this time. Oh, he has a fake out attack too whenever he gets up. What an ass. What a bastard. Over 100 experience for fighting those guys. Well, at least I got something out of it. There's like those little things on the ground. Look like you could dig or something. 
The surface feels fragile. It'll probably break if we jump from high enough. You don't say. Found a bunch of magic mushrooms in here, you guys. Let's set up camp. We'll have a real good time. Bum, bum, down. I don't know where I'm going. Should I go this way or the other way? I really don't know. What? I didn't get him? It looks like I got him. That is uh, some poo poo right there. But those guys walk like they have to pee really badly. Hmm. Wouldn't you say that's how they look? I would, I would say that. Oh, I should have used my crescent move. These guys are weak against us, son. Damn. I will say that, um... Blocking in this game is not easy. The timing, it's not easy. Anticipating all the moves. There was another way to go, so I'm wondering... Shit, I'm wondering if I missed something. I gotta go back. I definitely missed something over here. Tomatoes. Not the most exciting. Oh, the shortcuts. God, I love I love the platforming. It's such a nice touch that games never fucking have. Like, just the, the simple ability to be able to jump down from somewhere very conveniently saves so much time with, like, walking around. Time has made the runes indecipherable. Time. I can change the time. Ooh, nice. Got the jump on that guy. Okay, let me try to boost right away here and use Sunball. That is dope. That is what I'm talking about. Ah, dude, I hit, I hit the timing just a fraction of a second too late. And don't get- I always hit her timing a fraction of a second too early. I gotta get good, man. Man, the experience here is so much better. 162 off that. It's good shit. Some other weird shit right here. What is that? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Damn. It's hard to sneak up on people in this game because they turn around on a dime. Like hella fast. Captain Pee Pee Pants here. Wait for the fake out. I still missed it, you son of a bitch. Damn it, of course he hits Zale. Ass. 
Alright, let's boost. Oh my god, she has no mana. Fuck. Well, at least I killed him. I need magic for that guy. He doesn't take any physical damage. Got it, finally. Let me boost. And attack this guy. Cancel, good damage. Got him. Alright, this guy's dead. Level up. Does leveling up top off your HP? Because that would be nice. Magic defense or physical defense? Always a tough call. I'll do magic. Bum, 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 bum. Same dilemma on him, huh? I'll do magic. Same with everybody. Plus one mana. Plus one mana is always tempting. Fuck it, I'll do mana. Let's go. Mana is pretty clutch, but only one. I don't know if that was worth it, actually. Maybe you should wait for two. I don't know if two ever happens. If two mana comes up, I feel, I feel like you gotta do that, though. It does not top off your HP, by the way. Nope. No, it doesn't. Leveling up doesn't heal you, man. That's fucked up. <laughs> nice try, idiot. Is he waiting? Nope. He was. I think he actually was waiting. Two assholes down there. Shit. Sick, one shot that guy. I don't think she'll be able to kill him. Ah, close. I was gonna stop playing, but then I kept playing. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's awesome. What you gonna do, man? Game's good. Don't judge me. Where am I going, dude? Is this a secret way or the main way? I think it's a secret way. I don't I don't know though, actually. Man, this reminds me of Chrono Trigger so much. 
the guys chilling and shit. Managed to get the hit the hit off on him. Oh shit, they're all charging up. Wait, hold on. So we can actually Hmm. Uh, let's do this first, actually. Uh, let's do... Uh, you know what? More boost power for her. Wait, oh, boom explosion? The fuck is that? Ah, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay. What is this weird crystal? You can't even interact with it. Also, I can't go up here either. Whoa. Man, I'm... I'm a little unsure here. This looks like it's... I don't know. I still don't know if I'm going like a main way or a secret way. This is such a giant area. It feels like the main way at this point, but... I, at first, I thought it was a secret area. But now, I'm like... I don't know about that. Can't move that. I feel like the game's hiding all sorts of shit from me. Well, here's a rest. Resting is good. Damn, homie, it takes forever to make shit. Hold on, I gotta rest. I should probably stop, maybe just a little bit longer. You guys don't sell, I won't sell, nobody will sell. My voice has gotten a crazy rest here though. There hasn't been any dialogue in forever. What? How did I not get that guy? Are you kidding me? Fuck. That's whack as shit. God damn. Hmm. Both of them in one hit? That's fucking great, dude. Holy smokes. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the main way that we're going. What the fuck is this? There's so many weird things I have not been able to interact with. I don't like that. I don't like it, man. I want to be able to interact. Oh, I don't have any sun power. Shit. Hmm. Well. Give him a good wampin. I can only cancel one of these guys. Damn it. Dude, the timing on that, I have no fucking clue.
He has enough for his move. This'll be nice. Missed my timing. Fuck you! Oh, fuck you! Still can't do anything with that. Why there gotta be so many things I can't interact with? I feel like I missed uh, some shit in this area too. You know, I feel like I made gambles on which direction I thought was extra shit and which direction was bonus shit, and I think I made the wrong choice. <sighs> wow, I got fucked. That's not good. This is wow. Um. Well, bug it. That was really good, but it didn't really hurt those guys much. Holy fuck, are they all gonna drop bombs? Oh, I can't get the timing. Three boom explosions, fuck this. I got the last one. Timing, Zale. That was, uh, that was nasty, but you know what? I feel like it could have been much worse. Stone Mason Outpost Fishing Lake. Aha! I juked him. These guys are weak against magic, right? I got plenty of that. Plenty of magic for ya. Sunballs. Amazing against uh, those guys. Treasure over there. There was a treasure in the in that last cave I didn't get, but I'm I figured I had to drop down for that because it didn't look like I could get to it. Wait, oh, I'm outside, dude. You gotta fish. You gotta see what's in here. There might be some good shit. Like I might be able to fish up a a boot or something. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there's lots of shit in here. I wanted that big one. Are there any that are particularly different? I think I need to try getting every fish to see if that unlocks anything. I 
feels like feels like you should definitely do that. I'm becoming a fishing expert though, wouldn't you say? If only it was this easy in real life. <laughs> Boom, look at that. There's only a few left. I'll be done here in no time. Oh, this one's... This one's stubborn. Ooh, 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 he's stubborn. Uh oh. Oh, out of bounds. Lame. Oh, I thought I had him. Oh, didn't matter, I guess. Two more to go. Bullseye. That one looks different. Oh, wait. No, Lunar Trout. Just kidding. That is the most basic one. Last one. Come on, give me a bonus for clearing the lake. Wait. Okay, so now I know there was no... I didn't miss anything for not clearing the other lake. You don't get a bonus or anything. That's good to know. I'm a little sad about that. But I bet you there are... Oh, there's a big-ass dragon down there. I bet you there's um some cool shit coming up in future fishing lakes. You know, Excalibur the bottom of the lake. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, all the enemies are back. First time I dodged an encounter. Forgive me for my sins. I really just want to look around though and see. See what's going on. There's so many ways to go, dude. Every time I'm like, which way? Left or right? Is left the bonus way or is right the bonus way? I feel like left is. Because, like... I came from there, right? There's got to be a way to drop down and get that treasure chest. Is it right here? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep. I knew it. Recipe mushroom soup. Didn't I already have a recipe for mushroom soup? That sounds very familiar. Well, either way, I got the, I got what I was looking for, so... Wait. Wasn't there another treasure chest over here that I couldn't get? Right there. There's a treasure chest over there. Isn't that an area I was already in? I must have missed it completely. Those weird things in the ground that I can't interact with. I think I just uh, completely missed this before. Dude, that's a new weapon for homeboy. Shit. Damn, good thing I went back and got that. Yeah, I missed it. Oh, you bitch. Oh my God. What an ass. Wait, I missed uh, the one on bottom? Are you serious? Oh, fucking hell. Deja vu. I'm getting hit by all these bombs again. God damn. Man, the timing on that is so difficult. Got it. 
That is uh, some ass, you guys. And not the good kind. guys are dicks okay so got everything and we can press onward look someone's over there my girl voice is becoming natural whoa it's a cutscene we should ask for directions she looks busy bah I'm sure it's fine Hello, is there something special about that big rock? Yes, come look at this. It's... This looks like... Nah, must be my imagination. Ahem, so... Or ahem. <clears throat> so, what are those? <laughs> ahem. Fascinating is what they are. These runes are the oldest form of writing known to us. Who's us? Traveling historians, of course. Or at least what's left of them. No way, you're a traveling historian? Nice to meet you, my name is Garl. Nice to meet you too, I'm Teeks. So are your friends always this quiet? <laughs> nah, Valir and Zale are fun. They've just been sealed away to study in the sky for too many years. Magic air. Enchanted cloth. <laughs> You're solstice warriors. I knew it. Adventurous spirits, fearsome in battle, fated to unravel mysteries unknown and encounter countless forgotten artifacts. A traveling historian's best friends. I mean... Well, someone's excited. Haha, <laughs> and we thought Garl was something. Hey guys! Teeks has an offer for us and I think it's worth hearing her out. Sure, what's up? I'm not sure how to explain it properly. It's about my book. Why don't you just eat with us tonight, Teeks? This place is perfect to set up camp. Oh, well... Don't be shy, we're happy to have you. Yeah, plus you have to try Garl's cooking. Okay, thanks. That's it, one stew coming right up. Oh my goodness, I've been playing for too long, but I can't stop. Thanks again for the food, Garl. You really are a pretty good cook. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join us again anytime. So, you're the very last traveling historian? At this point, I might as well be the first. It's been so long since all the lore grimoires were burned. Grimoires. Grimoires. The what now? Lore grim grimoires. Every traveling historian has one, or had one, I suppose. They're enchanted books that write themselves by touching artifacts with stories to tell. Whoa. A traveling historian's duty is to make their lore grimoire as full as possible before passing it to the new recruit. There used to be a guild and whole bunch of us, but now there's just this believer here, which leads to what I've been meaning to ask. Shoot. I like how he's just doing push-ups the whole time. Well, you see, the best thing a traveling historian can ask for is adventurers who keep an eye out for them. I don't have a way to pay you, but if you wouldn't mind grabbing any artifacts you stumbled upon during your adventures, I'd be happy to share stories with you. Sounds fun, but how will we find you if you're always traveling? Don't worry about it. It'll just drop. I'll just drop by your campfire whenever you're out in the open. It's the perfect setting for telling stories. Story time by the campfire. Sign me up. Great. Just bring me any artifacts you find, and we'll see how my lore grimoire reacts. 
How many stories do you have so far? Just the one. It was empty when I found it, but that's okay by me. I plan on discovering enough to fill an entire volume. That's the spirit. The first story wrote itself, and I stumbled upon a very old pirate earring. That's when I knew I was holding a real lore grimoire. They were thought extinct. What's the story about? The ghost pirate ship called the Vespertine. I can read it for you if you want. Feel free to ask. Don't know if my voice can handle reading that, but I want to know about it. Hey, want to hear a story? All right, here we go. We can do this. Of all the recorded hexes and acts of bewitchment, few are as dreadful as the curse of the Vespertine. This story takes us back centuries to a time when a certain band of pirates ruled the seas. Stormcaller was the name of their captain. He was the most powerful wind mage the world had ever known. And their navigator, Hortens, remains to this day the shrewdest mariner. Mariner? Shrewdest mariner on record. Combining Hortense's skill and Stormcaller's magic, some say their ship was faster than light itself. The crew went on many adventures and accumulated countless riches until one day, the inevitable happened. Hortense, whose first love was music, announced that she wanted to quit the pirate life and devote herself to her art. Ever a firm believer that the real treasure is the treasure one finds along the way, Stormcaller took her resignation, harshly. Utterly insulted, he stopped conjuring wind for the sails and locked the ship right in the middle of the ocean. And we shall remain here, he said, till our navigator gets that silly idea out of her head. But Hortons had already made her final decision. Days went by, both of them sulking while their crew begged that they reach some resolution. First they ran out of patience, then out of food, and eventually out of drinkable water. Then one day after sunset, the pirates driven mad by hunger and thirst mutinied and made their captain walk the plank. And as he sank into the abyss, Stormcaller cursed his crew and conjured an eternal prison. In the sea of nightmare, he would channel a deadly storm for them to endure forevermore. Over centuries, the crew members lost their minds to the ghastly place until only Hortons remained. To this day, the battle goes on in the sea of nightmare, Stormcaller's hatred pitted against the navigator's sheer will. Some say Stormcaller's fury will one day sink the ship, while others believe we will eventually bow to the indomitable Hortons. Legend has it she gets a short break once a day, but for a few seconds, at the precise time the curse was first conjured. Countless sailors and fishermen have since reported sightings of the legendary ghost pirate ship that appears at dusk. They call it the Vespertine. While some have half a mind to climb aboard the search in search of treasure, must avoid sailing at dusk for fear of being sucked into the sea of nightmare. The end. Holy shit. <sighs> that was crazy. They didn't have a save point at this campfire. Guess I can't stop playing. Oh, over here. A boat ride to Wraith Island? That might be a challenge given the situation with the lift. Probably nothing you can't figure out. Which way is it? East of here, along the path. Mind if I stick around for now? We have the same destination. The more the merrier. A tingling of ancient magic can be felt as if it had all but completely faded away over time. All right, I gotta go. Love y'all. I'm posting this on Sunday, so I'll be I'll be streaming on Twitch on Sunday. Well, I don't know if you're watching this on Sunday or, or not. Either way, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the game. Gonna do vocal warm-ups next time. <sighs> Holy smokes.